The wet playground at Miami Whitewater Forest is closed and it will not reopen. Parky's Pirate Cove was a popular feature that's been around for almost 25 years. Local 12's Megan Mangello reports mold is behind the decision. And that told us that when the testing results came back from this, it was so high we needed to close the facility. Todd Palmeter is the new CEO of Great Parks Hamilton County. He said a staff member found mold in the pump house. An outside company determined it was so bad, Parky's Pirate Cove couldn't open for this summer. We are very concerned about our staff safety and we are not allowing people in there uh, unless they're authorized and have the proper breathing apparatus. Cleaning the mold means removing all the wood decking over and around the pump house, plus getting rid of the equipment. No mold was found in the public play area. It's been a summertime favorite for families. When they posted on Facebook yesterday, they said um, that we can visit the Winton Woods area and nobody wants to we're all from here we don't want to drive 30 minutes to go to a wet and play area. Ashley and other Harrison residents say closing this public water play area is a big loss to their community. There's no place for children to swim or play in water except for Brookville Beach and unless you like beaches there's no one no place for them to go. Miami Whitewater is the largest park in Hamilton County. It stretches for 4,500 acres. It's one of 21 parks that Great Parks operates. It will cost $75,000 to get rid of the mold at Parky's Pirate Cove. After footing that bill, Palmeter says it's not financially feasible to ever reopen the 23-year-old wet playground. We estimated we may have only had one or two years in this system and knowing the master planning was coming, we thought it was best now to close and be ready to reopen with a new facility rather than still have to close in the next couple of years and then lag another couple of years before there's a new facility. And again, that was Megan Mangello reporting for us here tonight. Now, once Pirates Cove is demolished, grass there will be put down and picnic tables will be set up in the area. That should be done by the middle of July. There are other plans for the space and Great Parks is asking for public input on that decision. Community meetings to get ideas for the park and facility master plan will start this fall. Final recommendations will be made at some point in 2021.